So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P0172 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P0172 code? Well, it's a System 2 Rich Bank 1. And what does this mean? Well, basically the onboard computer is seeing a problem with the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the engine. Mainly it's seeing too much fuel go in and not enough air. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And this can be caused by a few different things. So I'm going to go over each thing and go about showing you how you go about troubleshooting it and some possible causes of a Toyota P0172 code. Well, it could be a dirty air filter. It could be a bad mass airflow sensor. It could be a vacuum leak. It could be a bad oxygen sensor. The thermostat could be stuck open in some cases and possibly a bad injector. And so the first thing to do is to locate bank one on your engine and basically v6 or v8 engines they have two banks and so to find the number one bank you just find the number one cylinder and that'll be bank one and then the opposite of that is bank two and so here's a toyota 4.0 liter v6 here's the number one cylinder and so this would be bank one and so this would be the side of the engine that's having the issue and so once you locate bank one side of the engine first thing to do is go examine the air filter and be sure that it's not dirty and clogged up because if it is it could be blocking the airflow from going into the engine and so it's always a good idea go check out the air filter and make sure that it looks good and that it's not dirty and blocking the airflow in the engine and so if the air filter looks good the next thing to go check is the mass sensor or the mass airflow sensor and what this does is it just reports back to the onboard computer how much air is going into the engine so it's reporting to the onboard computer how much oxygen is going into the engine and if something goes wrong with this then it could cause a lot of issues it could throw everything off and it can cause a p0172 code there's different ways you go about testing these if you want to one way that i test them just real quickly is that if you have an obd2 scan tool anyone any low cost one will work as long as it's got live data just go into the live data and find the math sensor inside of there and while you could look up these numbers and check to see if the specifications match and everything like that, just turn the key to the on position and with the engine off, there should be no reading. Just turn the key to the on position and with the engine off, the math sensor shouldn't be reading any airflow going past. So this number should be basically zero. If it is really high, like if it is like this, like three or four or something like that, then you know there's something going on with that sensor. But as long as it's low or close to like zero and not moving much, then likely the sensor is okay. There's more tests you can do on it if you wanted to. Quite often these sensors don't go bad. They just need to be cleaned up. There's some mass airflow sensor cleaner for these that you can use to clean them up if it looks dirty or anything like that. Quite often that's all they need. Sometimes they do fail and need to be replaced, but go and check that mass airflow sensor. And so if you check that all out, if you check out the air filter and that looks good, you check out the MAF sensor and that tests good, then the next thing to go and look for is going to be a vacuum leak. And basically what you're going to be looking for is you're going to be looking around the top of the engine mainly is for any leaking hoses or anything like this that's causing a vacuum leak. And there's different ways you go about doing this. A lot of mechanics will use like flammable liquid and they'll spray where they think there's a leak with the engine running. And if the engine idles up, then they know there's a leak there. One of the ways I like to do it is with a smoke machine. And when you do it like this, you just feed smoke into the engine. And wherever the smoke comes out, you know there's a leak. There's low-cost smoke machines on Amazon and eBay if you wanted to pick one up. You can also make these. There's like DIY low-cost smoke machines that you can make up for like $5, 10 There's some good YouTube videos on that if you wanted to make one up. Or you could just go around and look for a vacuum leak and try to find it. There's lots of different ways you could do it. But the next thing to do is go around all those hoses on the top of the engine and see if anything looks like it's disconnected and to look for a vacuum leak. The next thing that can cause this is an oxygen sensor. And basically the oxygen sensor is reporting back to the onboard computer how much oxygen has been burnt off during combustion. So if there's a problem with this, then it could be reporting bad data back to the onboard computer. Usually the oxygen sensor that causes this problem will be the bank one upstream sensor one oxygen sensor. And they can be located a little bit differently depending on your Toyota. For example, here's a 2007 Camry with a 3.5 liter V6. And as you can see, bank one sensor one would be right here. And that would be usually the sensor that would cause this problem. Although sometimes it might also be the sensor two. Usually with a P0172, if it is an oxygen sensor, it's usually this bank one sensor one upstream oxygen sensor. And there's some different ways you go about testing the oxygen sensor if you want to. There's some good YouTube videos on that. They are low cost parts, so a lot of people go ahead and swap it out. But however you want to do it, the next thing to do is to go check out that bank one sensor one oxygen sensor if all of that tests good and you're not finding no issues another problem that can happen sometimes is that the thermostat got stuck open this is mainly inside of cold weather but if it comes stuck open then it can cause issues since the engine's not heating up properly and it's, it's not igniting the gas and air fuel ratio mixture properly and when you have this problem usually you'll have other symptoms the heater's not working correctly or something like that but if the engine is running too cool and it's not warming up properly, 
then you might want to go and check and see if you've got a thermostat that is stuck open. And the very last thing that can cause this is going to be a fuel injector on bank one. If one of these fuel injectors has gone bad, then it could be causing an issue. And it's basically just causing a problem with the fuel delivery. And it's just throwing everything off on one of the cylinders. So if you've gone through and you checked everything else on this list, then the next thing to go and check for is a bad fuel injector on bank one. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give an overview of how you go about fixing a Toyota with the P0172 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.